Hello, welcome back. This is Instatoris, and I'm continuing playing Sherlock Holmes, Devil's Daughter. You might be wondering why I'm in the hallway, because when I loaded the game, I was actually on the telescope, not inside my house. What are we doing now? All right, we are going to uh, to take a part in the final of the lawn, lawn bowling tournament. Sounds interesting. I think we need to change our clothing, if I'm correct. So what do we need? Um, not overcoat. Sailor outfit, probably not. Morning gown, mm, no. Festive attire, is that actually a festive? I don't know, so probably not. Doctor, we are not a doctor. And not a, um, I guess we take a sportswear then. Yes. So we should be ready. Have you talked to Dork already? Who chased his own tail again? I should walk with you more often. Okay, one minute. Okay. Um, My bag with lawn bowls for the upcoming tournament. I guess we don't need to take them. Holmes, aren't you really sure you want to wear that? This? Everyone dresses like this at the club. <laughs> that should be a sight worth seeing. I only hope our charming neighbor won't spot you like that. Right. Okay. So I guess we just go to the club then. Do we actually play in the tournament? I think we do. Mr. Holmes, you played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports. That's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. That? Oh. Well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please, explore. Uh, okay. Uh, Mayan calendar is the first prize of the bowls competition. Well, let's see if we can win it. The statue of Takunu Man. Okay. This statue is made of metal. Definitely a lovely looking statue, if I might say so myself. Let's go around and see what we can see. Do you want to say anything, Watson? Good luck, Holmes. Oh, aren't you a jolly one? I'd like to win the Mayan calendar. It's a beautiful work of art. You and me both. Don't know if I can win it. Uh, if I can, then good. If I don't, then well, more. M well, interesting inscriptions. Do we have something up here? I'm still a little surprised that uh, Holmes would participate in this kind of stuff only club members have access so we are not club members okay what else can we do we can talk to these guys over here um, I can talk to you. I lost to the quarterfinals, but the green was worth. 
Yes, excuses. Lovely old herbs. Can I take this some? Keep Watson happy. Okay. At least Watson is happy. Apparently we don't want to taste those. I would. Um, no, nothing over here. I'll, if I go there, I'll probably start the game. So let's talk to you. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. Uh, okay. Uh, and you? Anything else? Anything else? Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. Right. And you? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Are you ready to begin the final game? Mm, not yet. I'm gonna check the area first. I still need some time. No idea if it, I'm going to win this. Um... It's a great final. Did you see the first prize? Right. The first prize. The Mayan Kiche calendar. Hmm. What you gonna do with that? Put it on your living room and should use it as a target practice or something like that. With Sherlock, you never what know. A beautiful day for November. Have you been sapping, uh, sipping some sap? Or what was it in the uh, Crimes and Punishments? Are you betting? Maybe. Um, Arthur is in the final with you know who? Mr. Sherlock Holmes. How exciting! Oh, Watson has moved over there. Can I check this? So, are you ready now? No, 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 no. I want to talk to the. I still need some time. I'm building the anticipation. Good luck, Holmes. Well, okay. Well, let's let's start it then. So. Are you ready now? Yes. Yes. Let's start the final. Beat your opponent uh, landing balls close as possible to white marker ball. Oh, okay. Mm, I can zoom, aim, and throw. Well, that was a poor throw, but it doesn't matter at the moment. I'm not taking any stress. If I win, I win. Then I, if I lose, I lose. That's fine. Okay. Oh, that too slow, I would say. Way too slow. The curve was nice. Well, not bad, actually. Let's see how this goes. Oh, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Closer. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Let's see how this goes. Maybe too hard? I don't know. A little bit too hard, but I'm still closer than the opponent. How many rounds there will be? I don't know. Hmm, that's, that's a nice true I would say uh, really good show I'll take a chance let's go with ah I clicked too early but we'll see we'll see yeah a little too early and a little too right not good not good 
I probably lose this one. I'm guessing three rounds. Well, that's uh, that's not a good throw. Um, okay. Oh, again, too early. But maybe, 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 just maybe, no. Again, too right. That was my last ball. I probably lost this one. Yeah, I think I lost this one. His ball is closest. Yeah. Next round. going mm. well that was a terrible I'll try like this come on come on come on come on come on come on oh no no not <laughs> too hard uh yeah I'm that was definitely a bad throw I wouldn't surprise if I lose this one. <laughs> okay. Well, it's better than mine, I have to say. Um, I'll go with around this. Maybe here. Maybe here, maybe here. A little too hard. Um, I would say the direction is something workable, but uh, the strength was too hard. I probably need to win this one. So a little less strength. Let's see. Stop, please stop, please stop. Ah, uh, a little bit right. Uh, I don't know. Not my day at all. Well, that's quite far. I think I'm... Well, it's a little bit here and there if I'm the closest or not. Um... I think that's too slow, maybe? I don't know. Well, it could be nice. That one ball is probably... <sighs> okay, I'll take that. No idea how many rounds we do have. Maybe if I throw it there. So let's go with this. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 roll, roll your round bastard. Maybe a little bit left, a little lesser strength. I'm the closest at the moment. Maybe 
of like so. Let's see how this goes. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not good. That's not good. I might be a little bit closer. Um, I think too hard might be. Or maybe not. Oh no. Stop. Please stop. That's quite decent. I think I'm closer than... My balls are closer than he is at the moment. Oh, that's nice throw. That could be a nice throw. That could be a re... Oh, no, 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 no. Mine is closer. Maybe here. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully I don't hit his ball. Come on, go, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, there it is. He has to hit my ball to win this. If he doesn't do that, I'll probably take this round. Hopefully this is the last round because I'm doing quite well now. Six to one. Congratulations on your game, oh, Mr. Nice. Holmes. Exceptional. The award ceremony will be tomorrow morning. See you then to receive your prize of the calendar. I trust you will be there as well, Dr. Watson? Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, what a pity. Let's go home. So that's it then. Let's talk, people. See you tomorrow, Mr. Holmes. See you tomorrow. And you? My congratulations, Mr. Holmes. So. Who is gonna end up dead and what's gonna happen here? Because I'm almost certain that I will never get that. Uh... Do they speak anything else? Nope. Nothing. So let's just charm back to the Baker Street. Okay, that was quite exhilarating. <sighs> load. Please load. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? <laughs> Your costume! <laughs> well, don't you like it? Oh, I do! <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. Interesting. What you doing here? Um... I'm... It seems a little bit occultish. Although occult item could be eccentric also. Visit a prisoner. I love... Okay. Unmarried. Oh. Hmm. If there are cuts, like it says, I... Go with suicide attempt, maybe? Let's see how this goes. Alice is Sherlock Holmes' new neighbor. She is a young 
and beautiful and she seemed to relate well to children, but she is still not married. The love token that she wears alludes to her connection with the criminal world. Uh, she suffered a difficult past. Uh, there's, her scars indicate that she survived a suicide attempt. Judging by her jewelry, she is interested in occult science. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? Mm. So there's no other chance than um, refuse. I don't go with the harshly. Mm. I want to be eccentric. I blame the piano music. What a poor choice of instruments. I hate the piano. I'd rather her not. Oh, Father, why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbors. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. Thank you, Miss Alice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything else than uh, decline. What do we have here? Nothing. I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. Back. So. Oh, let's check my clothing. Well, that's okay. What else could I... Well, overcoat is maybe tad too much. We use it on the last... Let's be decadent and go with this. Mm, okay. So, what are we doing now? Well, let's examine Mayan calendar. Mm, history. Civilization in Central America. The Mayan Empire is centered in the tropical lowlands, the region nowadays known as Guatemala, and reached the peak of its power and influence around the 6th century AD. The Maya excelled at agriculture, pottery, hieroglyphic, write, hieroglyphic writings, calendar creation, and mathematics, leaving behind them an astonishing record of architecture and symbolic artwork. The principal nation of pre-conquest co conquest Guatemala was the Quiches. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. Also known as Maya Quiches. Quiche? Quiches? I don't think it's a dessert. dessert. Quiche. Uh, quiches. Uh, I, okay. Uh, the name of these people means many trees taken from the forested highlands which they inhabited. Tekun Uman was the last ruler and the Quiches king who fought with his army against the Spanish con conquerors in the Battle of Pinal, where his chest was fatally pierced by the sword of Don Pedro de Alvarado. According to the legend, even death de Kun Uman continued, continued to protect his people. First prize of the bowls competition. Okay. Uh, Here it is. Interesting. Interesting. Any else is there a letter again no oh we can enter here I know I shouldn't but I'm a nosy bastard there's a dog a lion she's actually quite a good painter and drawer very good, actually. I do have to say that. Uh, creepy doll, lovely teddy bear. Um, I don't know why, but I started when I 
played Fallout New Vegas, I always collected old teddy bears and take, took them in my Novak apartment. And actually, I did that in Far Cry 4 also. Collecting all the teddy bears. I don't know why. It, it seemed appropriate. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and talk to the doggo. Who chased his own tail again? I should walk with you more often. Yes, yes, you should. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go and collect a map our... of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Yes. Oh, by the way, before we go and collect our prize, uh, I could go and see if there's new news. Again, while I, we're here, I'm going to go and take a quick look, see through the telescope. What happened there? Oh, sorry. Um, my finger slipped and I probably muted my microphone. Fortunately, not for a long time. Yeah, I probably have to bind those keys to somewhere else. You're still struggling. I know the, I know the feeling. And to be honest, you're a much better painter than I am. So there it is. Yeah, nothing new. But now let's see if we have new news. And you still keep sleeping there. Well, if it's comfortable. Uh, no new news. Wiggins, anything? What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Nothing at the moment. So let us leave and uh, collect our prize. Hopefully. my mouth there sorry about that noise the statue did it it killed zacharias calm yourself now sir charles you've had a shock let the police do their duty what can a mere inspector like you do about it you don't know anything a mere inspector Pfft. and now here comes mr holmes Lestrade. are you here to receive a prize as well <laughs> very amusing holmes you can go home the ceremony's been cancelled we've got a murder scene here really and to think i only came here for my prize I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then BAM! A murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now, don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. Do I ever mess around? Here she comes to wreck a day. Anyways, murder case. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. A thin air, you say? And clubhouse? Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. What? You can't be serious, Lestrade. Obviously, you said all the area. My God, man, what on earth are you doing? You're still here. This is quite intriguing, actually. He's imitating Lestrade. You got something for me? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Oh, okay. Well, the statue did it. Let's check that. The iron mounting rod is broken. Right. 
The surface is damaged. So am I to be assume traces of metal on stone that I should uh, think that the statue walked down and killed that poor bugger traces of metal on stone it looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal yeah it would appear oh. a piece of the statue's mounting rod pieces from the pedestal Right. Before we go there, yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain that the statue didn't kill him. Scratches on the stone. That almost think, uh, sounds like a, a thing or something like that. scratches on the stone. Uh, oh. Okay, there's definitely something over there. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. Well, that would make sense. You, sir. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Can you? Don't look me like that. <laughs> okay. Can we enter the clubhouse? Maybe later? Only club members have access. Wait, why is the tab open? Only members... Okay, now we know that. Uh, we can use this as a discussion. Investigate the crime scene. Well, all in good time, all in good time. I checked the body before I talked to him, so I know the situation to oh right Leebrook Ruff and Leebrook Holmes Holmes What a spectacular season The Great Tournament of the London Archaeological Institute's bowling club Ah what a great day The Crime Detectives Bowling and me so, the, pen, the treasure is still there. I could check that first. That's a strong throw. I believe Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Maybe, maybe not. But, yeah, that has been a nice throw. What are these? Zacharias's folder with some documents. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. Right. Clock. Lovely looking clock. Used. The case is scratched and dented. Yes. Do we... Can we open it? Yes, we can. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Right. Uh... Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. Yes, makes sense, makes sense. Let's check this. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. And... Oh. Dry leaves. Okay, it's just dry leaves, blood. Nothing on the hand. Okay, what? Come on, turn around. Nothing. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is working weird. Nobody stole the money. Money was left inside the wallet. That's All what I... All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. Definitely so, yes. Right. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? No, you can't. Cannot. So. Good day, sir. Well, not that good, but anyways, you get the drift. Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? 
Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it. I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. Okay. Running away. Or something that appeared like the statue. Anyways, what do we have here? Poor quality. Hmm. Invitation. Uh, well, could be socially active, maybe? I don't know. Well, it's annual meeting and whatnot, I guess. Uh, well, if you have a political symbol, you probably at least appear to be politically active. Why else would you use it if you are not active, at least appearances? Page. Ex-military. Okay. Married. Well, let's see how this goes. I guess it was correct. Sir Charles Yellingham is the manager of the London Archaeological Institute's bowling club. He was formerly a soldier with prestigious infantry. A married man, Sir Charles appears to be rich, but his wealth is superficial. He is politically engaged with the Tory party and seems to have an active social life. Well, it appears so. Statue running? You saw the statue running. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Yeah, but the pedestal could have been emptied earlier, somebody making metallic sound. And when you finally come to look around, you see something that appears like the statue. Yeah, why I'm saying this, because obviously the statue never did that. And yeah. Anyways, how do you know the victim? Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is, was, a club member and an excellent bowler. Okay. Why? But he... why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Early one morning? I can't remember the lyrics. Now let's continue the game again. So Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's annoying to sing. I try to keep it low, but I don't know why it happens when I'm recording. Maybe nervousness. Is the calendar valuable? Is the calendar valuable? Uh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. Okay. And um, can I enter the clubhouse? May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. That can be arranged. Huh. Oh, look. Those uh, little orders have actually managed. Nice attention to details. Anyways, uh, anything? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Uh, I. Let's go and talk to Lestrade. Oh, who are those people? Can I talk to you guys? What did the police say? Do you know anything? Apparently nothing. Uh, Lestrade. Missing statue. And what about the statue? I've no idea yet. I imagine a thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So there were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but... Uh... 
Please go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Hmm. Oh, I can use F. Um... Statue throws spear, statue jumps down and runs away. Step on leaves. I guess the step on leaves comes first. So step on leaves, throw spear, help by attack. And uh, emerges from the club and a stat statue jumps down and runs away. I'm not... I guess this should be the first. Is this correct? If, let's see if I choose this. Okay. So color doesn't give us any indication. But that would make sense because why else we would note the... Uh, leaves and now Charles emerges from the club and uh, statue runs away uh, let's see if this is correct It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar and killed by the spear from Tukunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. But why would somebody want to... people to... think... that Tukunuman exacted a, a revenge on this place? Why were you killed? What did you know? It was not about the money. And like the inspector said, it was foggy, rainy, dark, whatever. So this is quite a far away. And basically guy with having a shield and helmet, maybe coloring or clothing similar to the Tekun Uman would definitely seem like a statue if he's a little because he seems a little nervous uh, what do i do now uh, huh, i really don't know i think i've done everything in here i can't let's see if lestrade has anything to say but at the moment, it seems like I can't do anything. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. So, I guess we go to the Scotland Yard then. As I really don't know if there's anything else to do. Yes, Scotland Yard it is. Let's go there. I could have walked there also, but we haven't been in a Scotland Yard in this game. And something I'm thinking crimes and punishment, but yeah, we haven't been there yet. 
We couldn't end Thank here. you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Okay. Uh... Release him, please. He's not guilty. Calm down, dear. Okay, let's hope for your best that he's not guilty, whoever he might be. Stahlhammer. Jonathan Fenton. Is this inspector? Which one? You were standing there in the last game also. At your service, Mr. Holmes. There are the stuff. Uh, can I enter Lestrade? Because I want to see if they... There's no need to disturb Lestrade for the time being. Oh, he's actually sitting there. If we ever get inside, I need to check did they change the poster? Which was talking about Nazis and Royal Air Force and whatnot. Anyways, uh, let's see what we can. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. How heavy is this? Nothing on the outer ring. Nothing on the inner ring. Maybe it's. Oh. He wanted to check these. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. Um. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Right. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. Nice watch. An ordinary pencil. Money was left inside the wallet. Right. Here we have these symbols. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. Okay, uh, let's start. What do we have here? 10 is every only all. Well, let's start with every. We can fortunately see all of them, so we can change the... Yeah, we can change. So that's good. I need to first get all the letters. Um... Do we have okay I'm guessing it's some kind of curse I would believe call it a hunch and sealed okay No. Hopefully I don't miss too many. Okay, we have nobody, anybody, a crowd. Master or statue. Uh, what we are missing? Eyebrows, ears, surprised face with a doll, and something else. Chosen, it could be actually God also, but we will check that later. So, eyebrows and surprised face with the doll. Okay, it could be a curse. That's a baby 
showing thumbs up. Now the eyebrows. How did I miss them? There they are. Okay. Oh, we're still missing. Ah. Um. To disturb sacred temple. To meet death. Risen statue. Oh, we're missing face. Um. Um. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Weak. Exist to be a bird to be uh, cursed. To be anyone to disturb sacred temple to meet death risen statue. Every only all. I'm guessing it's a curse. Um, curse to be anyone to disturb sacred temple. I'm guessing that's correct. To meet death, risen statue. Every only all. To descend. To have mercy to fly. Maybe to have mercy. So... Only God or only chosen? I would say only chosen. So it would be only chosen would have mercy. Let's see. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. So somebody had to know already what the message would mean. And uh, they wanted to make it look like the statue was exacting the curse. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Cause you are, cause you are. Don't the Loki. So let's go and check the body now. Move your body. Nothing has has changed from the crimes and punishment, which is actually kind of nice. We have still this. Look at me, lol. I have no skin. Again, sunglasses. What? Brains, sulfuric acid, more sulfuric acid. Okay. This body has been here uh, quite a while. It was in the crimes and punishments also. Oh, right. I need to put my cell phone muted. I totally forgot. Hope fortunately, nobody has been. Contacting me. Okay, let's check the body. Interesting. Red eye. It looks like a serious infection. Ooh. Whoa. These scars are old. Uh, yes, they are. And uh, this is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. Hmm. 
It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. Yes, anything else? Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently Zacharias had been drinking before his death. Hmm, okay. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. All right. So what do we have here? No. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, running statue. Sir Charles saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. Uh, Sir Charles didn't see the running statue. He's either lying or the running figure was somebody else. Hmm. Well, the problem is he believes he saw the statue. And I think that it was made to appear as a statue for reason unknown. So I think he is believing his uh, uh, statement, but we can change this later. But at the moment, I'm guessing he believes he saw a statue. Whether or not it was a statue or a person imitating... Well, it's not a statue. It's not a statue. <laughs> that much we know. Because there's no such thing as a curse. Uh, hmm. Do I need to... Can I enter now? Now. Yes, it's still here. It is still here. A little bit dark. Charles Dickens. Why are you playing with your gun? You do know that's not safe. Seriously, you're shooting towards the... <laughs> Fortunately, it's empty. I trust you have checked that, but still... Okay. Right. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Yes, yes, and yes. <sighs> Red eyes. Um, lack of sleep. Obviously. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Red stain. I, well, I'm not. I'm guessing it's more. Why? Oh, red eyes back under the eye. You have been having a aspirin headache, hangover, hangover. In a good mood. Okay. A woman's handkerchief. Robin. Interesting. Lestrade is exhausted. He didn't sleep well last night. He has been drinking wine. Now he has a headache. Cleaning his gun suggests he is in a good mood. He keeps Lady's perfumed handkerchief as a memento. Mrs. Robin. The wife of British councilman might be connected with Lestrade's present condition. Right. My, my, Mr. Lestrade, what you been up to? And we have two people to 
meet. Symbols had been drawn the back of the Mayan calendar. And here they are. Okay. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. Well, that was easy. So he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Toodaloo. So, let's go to the club. Uh, what else? Uh, Isha Combs was authorized by Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard to set the premises of the London Archaeological Institute Bowling Club. So, the cop launch. Investigate the murder of Zacharias Great Stoke. I'm stooped about it. So, let's jump. Well, yeah, let's jump to the club. Oh, my eyes itches. And here we are. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Can I help you? What's happening here? Do you see anything? Anything of interest? Nothing, apparently. Ah, oh, birds flocking off. Hello? But where is the statue? Did it vanish? What an abominable crime. Well, 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 well. Okay, let's talk to you. Because we need the key. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. Honestly, the way you're acting is quite suspicious. But I think... There is something to try to do. Obviously he protests and whatnot. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spear. Why won't the police say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Well, no. You had the right to calm down. Are you next of kin or something else? Let's see what these people are talking. Those shadows are a little off. Oh, it's horrible. Do you think the club will be closed? Okay, nothing. Well, this is quite, ooh, dark. Whoa, quite a lavish place, I have to say. Now that's a huge globe. I would like that. Especially if you get fill bottles in it. Chess. Let's start from the left and uh, go to that. So, what? Oh, nice chair. Okay. Picture. Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Nice. Very nice. Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new tranche to your club's account. However, the payment period has been reduced to one month and the sum of credit to £1,000 due to previous overdue amounts. If you wish to review your account, you should contact the bank manager directly, Mr. Black, bookkeeper for Lloyd's Bank. Hmm. Right. March 1881, James Ness and Sons, Jewelers, Sir Charles Yellingham. We acknowledge the receipt of your item, namely 458 grams of solid gold from a part called Guatemalan statue. We agree to purchase this item. Monies will be paid within 48 hours from receipt of this letter. 
uh, although this transaction is entirely legal, we do assure you that it will remain confidential. So there have been money problems. There definitely have been money problems. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Lord Stevenson. The Honorable Lord Stevenson. Charles Yellingham has a large family. Interesting. And... Uh, oh. And another letter. Yellingham, as I said here in front of everyone, you cannot give away this calendar. I want to study it. We have to discuss this matter before the award ceremony. I have already warned the other one of this. I... The other one of this... Zachary is crazy. So he... He wanted to study it and didn't approve that it was uh, going to be relinquished. Uh, so he went and studied or was supposed to study it at night. Uh, but who is the other? A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. Yes. More papers. For Mr. Olivier, the company director of Royal Parties, to organize the award ceremony for our bowling club's most recent competition. To the estimation of requirements for Quest 9. 20 cases of champagne, dinner for 40 reserved from the restaurant, a local musical ens ensemble to provide entertainment, 30 flower ar arrangement for table decoration, invitation cards for quests. I know this will be quite expensive, but do please allow me a period of grace to settle the payment. As I recall, you were so generous to grant on the previous occasion, thanking you in advance. So again, they have money problems, so he probably sold stuff. To Sir Charles Yellingham from Brittany Lovelace, chief accountant at Lloyd's Blank, Blank, Bank. Dear Sir Charles, our records show that you are once again late. And this is for the fourth time in paying the credits you have with our house. Any delay in payments will result in a fine of £7.10. Um, after studying your proposal, we agree to seizing part of your club's collection in payment of the credit, which will be sold in private auction. All raised monies will be reversed against your credit account. Okay. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. That is interesting. That would be a good motive to kill... Well, I don't know. It still doesn't give us a motive to kill the Zacharias. As it doesn't really help with the money problem at all. Queen Victoria. Victoria. Expedition of Guatemala 1881. Zacharias Greystoke. I wonder who this man is. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. So I'm guessing this is the other one. Who Zacharias was talking about. Because Yellingham, he, I'm guessing Yellingham, uh, Zacharias had talked about with him. So who he is, uh, we have to find out. Anything else? No. Oh. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. I... Oh. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Of course you do. So there may be some other person. Huh. Hmm. What do we have here? A huge trunk, fragile. Fragile. These antiques look quite valuable. It Oh, nice. Very nice looking. 1881, Guatemala. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. Well, if it's solid gold, it's quite heavy also, I would imagine. If it's solid. Anything? Come on. So we have checked 
that. Oh. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. But from where? These are uh, nothing else. Uh, Zacharias Greystoke's collection. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Right. Lovely ship. Come on. Once more with the feeling. Would it go lower? Maybe a little bit lower? Oh, nice. I need to s I need to hear if it goes lower. No. That statue. It almost looked like Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula, Gary Oldman, with the weird hairdo. I don't know. It actually could be an Easter egg. I don't know. Maybe it's in my head. And a huge globe. This metal globe is very impressive. We are missing pieces. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. Hmm. So we need pieces. Oh. Now that's a nice one. Uh, Greek style helmet. Maybe Spartan? I don't know. Decker. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. That is interesting. What do we have here? The late Mr. Roberts collection. Hmm. Have I? Oh. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Blinkhorn. Bromsby. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. So have I checked everything? Yeah, we have this globe, but we are missing two pieces, three pieces, at least three pieces. Huh. There's a rifle, swords. Hmm. I don't know. So can we see what we find out? We have oh don't <laughs> It's uh, going so fast. I'll just do it like this. Okay, so what do we have here? Prepared. Sir Charles had the time and opportunity to be prepared for his victim's visit. I don't know. Unless he's lying, obviously he could have time. Club debts. Sir Charles desired Greystoke's death in order to obtain and sell off, sell off his collection. Other collection. Sir Charles could sell any other collection contained in the club. Because he's already doing it. Again, I might be totally wrong. But again, we haven't met all of the people in this case. So until we do... I don't want to pin it to 
Charles Yellingham at the moment. We can uh, investigate this, ask about Telegram, ask about postmortem donations. And everything else. What? Uh, investigate murder. Uh, so we have searched the club's lounge. So I guess we go and talk to the bugger. Let's run. So. Victim's presence. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Um. Why? What would be working for this? Uh, my uncle calendar? No. What's this supposed to mean? Never mind. Uh, did I fail that? You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh, all the items are from our club members. Right. Um... Oh, postmortem donation. Wasn't that? Oh, I. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Uh, oh, yes, but it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. Hmm, that's interesting. Can I talk to you about. A murder at my club? What a disaster for our reputation. Huh. Right. So I missed the one quick time event and I can't talk about it anymore. Well, that's interesting. I could load and see how it goes, but yeah, I failed that. So I, I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep that. Yeah, I brought up. It was the telegram. I sh yeah, mm, I totally forget this one. I thought about the telegram about this letter from jeweler, jeweler, but I yeah, it was this. This was the one which I should have chosen there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mix it with the uh, jeweler. A murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. Jeweler. So let's go back to Baker Street because I don't think I have anything else to do except perform analysis. So let's go to the Baker Street then. Interesting to see if I can fail the quest now because I choose poorly. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Please load. Thank you. Ah, picture, picture, picture. Here we go. Analyze photograph. Mm, solvent. Pipet. Uh, yeah, there's definitely somebody standing there. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Well, let's take that and solvent. Well, to be honest, this is not even a, any kind of puzzle. You just, because there's nothing you can fail in this. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Thank you. And 
there's the one person let's let's scrub it really clean nice and tight yeah and who are you sir uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph is there anything i can do to help look here there's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph a dispute of some kind you think watson possibly but it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Okay. Ah. <laughs> my analysis table. It's useful for my work. Anything new? I do hope that bone has no connection to Watson's medical practice. <sighs> Ooh, right. That bone. No letters. Can I enter? Yes. Anything changed? No. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So... I'm kicking myself because I've failed that quick time event. Oh, you have something new. Let's see. Sensation. Brutal spear murder at a local bowling club. One cannot imagine what force and motivation a person might need to possess, possess in order to execute such a brutal attack. Mr. Zacharias Greystoke's body was discovered pierced through by a massive spear and unprecedented cruelty. A curious fact. One of the bowling club statues disappeared directly after the murder. Could that prove to be the motive for the crime? Well, well, yeah. We do have a, some kind of motive because now the Zacharias stuffs belong to the club and they can sell it and they have the money problem. But uh, I would say that... What? Birth performance. On April, April 5th, the acting troupe presented the Covent Garden Theatre with their respected interpretation of Nestle's Ta Tower, with Margaret of Burgundy imprisoned and being asked what exactly she did do with her two children. The actress playing the part did scream and thereby proceeded to give birth. The audience engaged most enthusiastically, believing this to be a part of the act. However, on stage came Orsini, dismissing the audience from the theater while begging their indulgence and calling for a midwife who duly climbed upon the stage uh, to deliver the squalling infant. The astonished audience, still part in witness to all of this, excited the theater to gaily discuss the scene that had not been featured in the play's program. That is interesting. Okay. Uh, Wiggins, Wiggle. What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Nothing at the moment. So, back to the club. And ask about the hidden person. Wrong button, there's the club. Alright, I need to press the button again. Let's see if I can have another chance to try and ask. But I'm guessing I missed my chance. Eh, what can I do? I'm still kicking myself about it, but anywho. Uh, people in their photograph. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. 
We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Interesting. And where's Albert's collection? Albeit was a club member. Where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Interesting. What do we have here? Uh, right. Curse is real. The curse of Tekun Uman is real and is aimed towards the expedition members. Seriously? No curse, the curse doesn't exist. It is simply the human interpretation of events. Yeah, somebody's prepared no curse, okay. Opportunity. Sir Charles is aware of the curse. He had the perfect opportunity. Yes, but it's a little too convenient. So Charles is unaware of the existence of a curse. Opportunity doesn't make him a murderer. Well, it could, but again, we haven't met everyone on the case. So I go with the unaware. So far, yeah, he does have a little motive to kill Zacharias. To get the treasure or the stuff. But... We still need to meet two people, if I remember correctly. Two people. Yes, two people. So, you there. Tell me about the statue. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Bernard Marley, Foundry Director, 8 Grub Street, London. Okay, we got a Grub st Street. Uh, I'll still see if, if I can talk to him again. And if not, then we go to the Grub Street. Before that, I'll get something to drink. A murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. This has little similarities with the bathhouse murder in the crimes and punishment with the mythical aspect, curses, superstition and whatnot. So yeah, this is almost, well, not identical, but taking quite a lot of uh, similar aspects from that, ca from that case. So I'm guessing, if we are going with that, uh, Bernard Marley probably even believes in the curse, maybe. Maybe. I'll continue probably a little while before I end. But anyways, I'll take a quick break and get something to drink. Be right back. Okay, and back. Let's continue and find... What's happening here? Come on, guys. He would arrest already. It would be nice to have some kind of sound there, but anyways. Have I mentioned that this looks definitely nice? Oh, it would be nice to have Jack the Reaper with this kind of graphics. But, again... It's still great looking game anyways. Hello there, good sir. Oh, your back hurts. I know how that feels. What is this? I don't know. Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. Understandable. Let's see. It's uh, Grub Street. Gumbled and Keaton. I'll run faster here. Let's see how far we can go. Probably there's nothing to be found, but... Uh, hello there, good sir. 
Excuse me, where is Grub Street? It's that way. Okay, it's right over there. Before that, we... I'll check the other way. I... I have this feeling I need to... <laughs> go and see the other areas. Although, I'm almost 100% positive. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's the street going up the hill, not far from here. Thanks very much. But I still want to go and see uh, see the sights. And maybe see something Gumbled row. interesting. Well, you look a little intimidating. Just leave the post on the doorstep. Okay. We have already heard this, so I'm guessing nothing new from there. Well, that is a very small broom, if I may say so. I'm guessing this is the road we already saw, yes. Okay, yeah. Well... What? Possum Street. Nice. Anyone here? Nope. So I think we need to go forward and left. We are getting closer. Cranny Street. And again, I have this weird feeling, uh, deja vu feeling from Vampire. I don't know. It has little bit similarities. No, we can't go there. Rob Street, definitely right street now. Now we need to find the right place then. Uh, what are you? Express services, England and Scotland. Okay, stop shaking. Ah. Well, we found it. What? Nate. Now the voice is sinking again. What are you doing? I don't think that fix it. Anyways. Let's not... And now I'm thinking Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I did enjoy that game. Uh, Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Could be. What else we have? Hmm. Mo molds. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? I'm sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Yeah, I can see that. Not to be honest, you probably are. Let's stick our hand in there. Minotaur, maybe, or something else. Okay. Main statues. Only 10 statues are available. Right. A furnace for melting metal. Right. Uh, Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. Okay. Man. A drawing of Takunuman. Well. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. So what else we have here? Clocks. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Hmm. Well, it might be. Hello, sir. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. The door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Right, it is. Uh, 
so I think oh there's more markings on the ground something large and heavy was dragged here two large boxes which were inside the warehouse they were taken to Bernard Marley's office it's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue hmm interesting well uh, I apparently Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuman yes come on Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Honestly, I'll probably end this episode after I've been interrogating Zacharias. Let's see, why with those stuffs? Stuff. Negligent. Amulets, uh, quite a lot. Protective charms. Yeah, this is definitely similar towards the Path of Blood. Leather patches. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing. What is that green? <laughs> uh, he is taking seriously the curse, I'm almost certain. Uh, required for close work, I would say, because of those. And... Well, he has a close... Uh, classes for close work, so intricate work would make sense. Let's see. We still need one. Bernard Marley is not yet 45 years of age. He is the foundry director and a member of the archaeological club. He is negligent and most likely lives alone. Bernard is a superstitious man, as indicated by the many amulets upon his person. It is clear that he spends a great deal of time seated at his office desk and working with sharp items and mechanical oil. His work requires a concentration. He requires spectacles for close work. Yes. Well, Zacharias. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Mm, tell me about the photograph. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. Yeah, that would be really hard. What about the expedition? And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles' stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekunuman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit's disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. It's a curse. It's a curse. And now I'm thinking about mommy. Uh, the Brendan Fraser version. Nice movie. Definitely really good. I should watch it again. Anyways, prophecy. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the awards ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Right, and Charles? Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. 
You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. Yes, indeed. Tekun Uman. What's your opinion on Tekun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, statue creation, because it was yours. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Takun Uman? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Takun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night and with Watson. Again, I have to say this. Uh, quite a lot of connections with the bathhouse. We have a social climber uh, who's more interested about money, fame, and political aspects. Uh, we have a person who takes uh, curses and whatnot quite seriously. So that's quite similar towards the. Uh, the bath of blood but anyways i think i'll end this episode here and i will see you next time and we probably go and uh, uh, try to enter bernard smalley office and see what we can find so i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time until then goodbye